What is up, people? Skywalker Hendricks here with another video for you guys today. And today I am looking at the best 112th Anakin Skywalker uh, that I have in my collection. So uh, I don't have any Episode 2 Anakins. So I will just be talking about Episode 3 Anakins today. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, go over them and uh, tell you guys which one. I think is the best one. So, let's get started. Alright, so first up we have the original Anakin from the Black Series. And actually this is the Archive uh, version. And uh, yeah, he looks very good in my opinion. He was my main uh, Episode 3 Anakin for a long time. I think the head sculpt is pretty good, um, could be updated obviously, and I think, uh, well, we'll get into that at the end of the video, but I think it, it looks good and it's serviceable, um, but I do not think it's worth the aftermarket value on it, and we will go into that a little bit as this is a older release, uh, it's, it's just not available on shelves at the moment. So, if you wanted it, you would have to go the aftermarket route, which is not the cheapest. But, um, so, for accessories, this guy comes with his lightsaber. I do not have the blade uh, in it right now. And he also comes with a alternate head. One of uh, the rare times, a Black Series figure comes with a alternate head, and I think it looks pretty good. Um, as I said, it's serviceable. Very much so, actually. Uh, I think... If you only collect Black Series, if that's your only thing, I think it's a great Anakin for the shelf. And the articulation is not quite there. Uh, as probably many of you know, you know, he does have double joints on the knees, but it's the arms and the shoulders that really kill this figure. He cannot get into a two-handed pose very well. But... I put him with the robe, which is actually Mace Windu's robe, so he does not come with the robe, actually. But I think he looks very good with the robe. You know, you get the hood down a little bit, you get uh, the Sith eyes in there, and I think it looks really, really good, actually. So, um, if you wanted to go this route, it's definitely a good option, in my opinion. Definitely looks good on the shelf with some 501st. So, uh, yeah, let's move on to our second Anakin. Next up, we do have the Clone Wars Anakin from the uh, Target exclusive wave. Amazing figure. Um, not, my, not my favorite look for Anakin, but this definitely was an upgrade for Anakin for the shelf. And it gave a lot of people... Uh, just an Anakin in general for their shelf and it's a great iconic look if you do watch the Clone Wars and yeah this this guy does look very very nice and his articulation is a lot better than the original although it does have the same uh, legs which I said uh, before they, they're not the worst legs it was the arms on the original one and they definitely upgraded that, upgraded his whole look. I mean, it's a totally different look, basically, from his uh, Episode 3 look, and I really like it. Kind of foreshadows his Darth Vader look uh, quite a bit, actually, and that is very cool. I definitely, definitely would like to customize one of these guys and do it all black, you know, a uh, kind of pre-Vader or... Um, you know, what if Anakin, if you will. So I think the head sculpt on this guy looks really good too. Um, definitely, uh, I wouldn't say an upgrade, but I do think it is, again, serviceable. And it's kind of a mashup of uh, an in-between years for him. So I think this guy definitely is a must-have if you're a Clone Wars fan. And he is a little bit cheaper than the Revenge of the Sith Black Series Anakin. 
on the secondary market. So he is probably a better route if you just want an Anakin. Don't care about the looks, really. Um, I mean, if that was the case, you could go the Episode 2 route, which I do not have the Episode 2 Anakin. But you could get that for retail right now, even on the aftermarket. So uh, that is always an option. But this is definitely a good uh, Anakin. And for accessories, he comes with what you see right here. Just a lightsaber, which is okay. I mean, you know, I don't know what else they would really give him. But, uh, yeah. Definitely a great figure. Very happy to have him. But let's move on to the final Anakin. All right, and here is one of my prized possessions, my S.H. Figuarts Episode 3 Anakin. This guy is absolutely beautiful. Um, I think if you are going uh, non, if price does not matter, I would say this is 100% the route you want to take. I mean, this guy just is absolutely fantastic and uh the articulation is there i mean it's great so definitely definitely uh an option if you know like i said price is not an issue um i got this guy for a wicked deal i'm not really gonna go into it but got him for a wicked deal a uh, little while ago and uh yeah just could not be happier and he fits in so good with the other updated jedi in the black series i just am so happy i got him and uh revenge of the obi-wan which they're just so good um so for accessories this guy does come with a alternate face a screaming face which does look good on the figure uh it's just a face plate so it just plugs in and he does come with a kind of uh i i, I don't know what i describe this this look as but uh just kind of a almost about to explode look <laughs> i guess um he does come with a lightsaber that does have a peg in it for his belt. Comes with an open hand. A fisted hand. A gloved uh, uh, lightsaber hand slash trigger finger hand. And then a regular open hand for the uh, ungloved hand. So lots of accessories with this guy. Which does add to the value, in my opinion. You can uh, give him, a, you know, a, three different looks for his face, you know. Different accessories for the hands, you know, different uh, hand gestures. So, really, really love this guy. And, like I said, if price was just not a factor, you this is 100% the Anakin, I think, that everyone should have in their collection is just so so good as a anakin fan i just yeah very happy with this figure so um yeah let's get them all back together and do a final overview so like i said sh figure arts anakin for the win but i will say if you're going on the best Anakin for the best price. I think it's got to be this guy right here. And I will say, if you guys don't want to spend the money on these uh, Black Series aftermarket or any of these aftermarket prices, I would suggest being patient. I think that's a key uh, for collectors is just be patient. I think we will get what we want eventually. So I would wait for a updated Black Series Anakin. I think in 2025 at the latest they're going to do it. And it's probably going to be amazing because all the updated Jedi have been really good. So I would be patient and wait for that. But again, if money is not an issue... 
go get yourself a SH Figure Arts Episode 3 Anakin fan freaking tastic figure. Uh, love it. So that's my video for today, and I'll see you guys in the next one.